There are actually nine different experiments showing EMF Solutions products working to remediate EMFs. The first and by far most impressive breakthrough that's never been done before or since, the human cell experiment showing EMFs changes inside of human cells and our products working to fix that. How it works tab on our website at emfsoul.com. The very top video will explain that. The second video on that same page will explain the blood microscopy testing experiments. And the third one is the mold experiments. I'm going to show that right here. It's been said and it's been shown that mold tends to grow faster, produce more biotoxins when around EMFs like your Wi-Fi router, your cell phone, and etc. than they do when you're in a Faraday cage or not being exposed to a lot of EMFs. So we had to put that theory to the test with our products to see if there was an effect. And sure enough, as usual, we saw amazing results. Um, so we're going to first start off with this experiment. This is two Faraday cages. And we use this experiment first because we have Petri dishes. And we built these Faraday cages. And we put a router inside of each Faraday cage. Then we put a Petri dish with mold spores in each Petri dish within there. Then we remediated one router and put a better Z's, which is a product we normally slip under the bed, underneath of the Petri dish in one, and we put nothing to protect or to uh, influence the EMF effect on the mold and the other. So we let it ride. We turned it on, we shut the Faraday cages, we measured outside to make sure the EMFs were not coming out, they were working properly. And a few days later, we popped in and took a look, and guess what? Yes, the one that had the EMF exposed to them that did not have any protection, that did not have our products or anything else, did grow mold spores. It was starting to be obvious uh, pretty soon on. But the one with our product had no visible mold spores. It took a long time for that to come around. It did eventually happen. Um, but this is the same day, the same picture, and you can see there is a big difference. Obviously, the one that looks like there's nothing in there is the one that had a better Z's under it and a device chip clip on the router inside of there. And the one with the mold obviously had nothing. And just to show you, we did other experiments prior to having the Petri dish experiment, which is much more controlled and much more, I would say, accurate. Uh, we did bread experiments because that's easy. You spray some water on some bread, you put it in uh, a sandwich bag, and you put it near a router. And uh, the only problem with the bread experiment, we, has, we have a lot less control over how much potential mold is in that piece of bread prior to putting it down. Each slice is a little different. You can't measure it ahead of time. At least we can't. Um, so that was maybe not as accurate, but we did get amazing results. And visually, you can see some really cool stuff. In this example, you can see probably obviously which one had the better Z's under it, the one on the right. The one on the left did not have any product there to protect it or to remediate it, and the Wi-Fi router was just running. So it's also interesting to point out that all of the mold, and pretty much multiple times we did this, started on the side, on the corner of the piece of bread that faced the Wi-Fi router, as you can see here. Now this is seven days in, and the one on the left is pretty full of mold. We had, it was so disgusting because we dis did this one at our house. I, we just threw it away. The one on the right lasted 30 days and never got visual mold appearing, which was incredible. And just to show one more picture here, this is, we did it on uh, electric meters, smart meters, gas meters. We did it on all different circumstances. This is just one of the experiments that happened on gas meters that were all right next to each other. Again, one having a better Z's uh, next to it and the other not. So once again, we see something that has a negative effect from EMFs in some way, shape, or form, we go to the lab, we start testing our products, and almost every time, well, every time I can think of, it's always come through. Our products seem to really just work on EMFs.